Here I will show you quick guidance in Kuham. As shown in the figure, to create a new project can be created through two entrances. One of these entry points into the project is chosen here for demonstration. As in this picture, we will encounter the following three options are draw, import floor plan, search floor plan, different options and corresponds to a different way to create, the next three options I demonstrated to be able to better understand. The first is draw through the floor plan, the floor plan for the direct drawing, we through the wall tool features, according to different needs to draw a different sample floor plan, but also through the left toolbar we can also use the left toolbar draw a wall to draw the thickness of the wall, you can use line segments to splice the house type, you can also draw a curved wall, of course, it is no problem to draw a closed house type with a rectangle. Don't forget to change the room type of the closed house type, the floor will be automatically generated after the closed house type, the floor will be changed according to the room type, and the rest of the basic information can also be edited in this menu bar. Next is import floor plan, for this option is also divided into two upload methods, depending on the material you have to decide which upload method you use and use the next operation. Here first to DWG format CAD material as a demonstration, select and open, this interface appears to select the floor corresponding to the layer and click to continue. The system recognizes the CAD house type and generates the corresponding closure walls, after which it checks and modifies any unsatisfactory walls. According to the CAD drawings to generate the house type there is a point to note because the drawings to generate the house type will leave a layer of reference in the layer, so clear the house type to delete the corresponding layer here. Next is a demonstration of the drawing material if it is owned similar to JPG and PNG. Select the reference drawing you want to upload and box the range of drawings needed, after which click on confirm. Once selected, set the scale, which determines the actual size needed to draw the house model next. The picture can be used as a reference for drawing, or you can click on Auto Generate and the system will generate the corresponding house type based on the information present, and then refine it manually. Of course, as with CAD drawings, the underlying layers should be deleted when clearing the floor plan to avoid affecting the subsequent floor plan production. The last way to create a house plan is to retrieve the desired floor plan via the internet to apply to the current project. Once the basic floor plan has been drawn up, models can be placed in the space as required. As shown in the diagram, the models are generally derived from public library, enterprise library and personal library. Firstly, there is the public library, which contains a wide variety of model materials that can be used directly. In this library, select a model for placement. Next is the Enterprise Library, which provides material from enterprise accounts, and the content of the material can be used in enterprise accounts of the same enterprise. In this library, select a model for placement. Finally, there is the Personal Library, which is a collection of models uploaded by the account users themselves, and which exists only for the current account. In this library, select a model for placement. Next are the tools and interfaces that are relatively common and commonly used in projects. You can go here to switch between 2D and 3D view. With the switch control button, you can move, zoom and rotate the model in XYZ axis. The triangle button allows you to flip the model vertically and horizontally. With the replace button, you can replace the model with the model from the replace model. Duplicate button allows you to duplicate a model with the same attributes. When you don't need a model in the current space, you can delete it with the trash button or hide it with the I button. Hidden models can be shown by clicking show hidden products. The placed model can have its parameters changed via the model info panel on the right. In 3D view, you can change the view mode, click this square button, you can switch the mode, Choose a suitable mode for you is very important for the production project. With the viewpoint switching, the other viewpoint will appear with this window in the upper right corner, which can be dragged around to the point of being able to make a better project. The rendering interface is here, through which you can get the HD rendering you need. Additionally, I'll share how the shortcuts work so you can get started with the tool faster, and you can take a screenshot and save it for later.
Mouse wheel can control the distance of the viewpoint. The left button can control the viewpoint rotation. The right button can control the panning of the viewpoint. Keyboard W, S, A, D, Q, E corresponds to the forward, backward, left, right, up, down in the tool operation. 1, 2, 3, 4 space corresponds to 2D floor, 2D ceiling, 3D top view, 3D walk, view reset. Alt for quick copying of models, select a model and hold down Alt, then move to copy the model. Shift can select multiple models, select a model and hold down Shift, then select other models to complete the model selection. Okay guys, this is quick guidance in Kuham.